the view that Christ Fellowship Bible Church has of end times is what we would call pre-millennialism. That is the conviction that Jesus Christ will return to earth from heaven physically, bodily, literally, pre, before a 1,000 year literal bodily uh, reign kingdom that will take place on the earth in the future. The book of Revelation speaks about this future kingdom, but, but you can't begin talking about end times in the book of Revelation or even in the New Testament. We have to begin all the way back in the Old Testament because we have to give proper respect to the progressive revelation of the Word of God and how God, little by little as time progressed, unveiled more of His revelation. And what we find is that God dwelt among his people even from the earliest of times. He did it in, with Adam and Eve in the garden. But in the prophets in particular, and in the Psalms as well, we learn that there would come a time when Messiah, when God, when Yahweh would live, when he would reside, when he would dwell on the earth with the people of Israel as they are regathered to the land and they live in a time of peace and they live in a time of prosperity and they live in a time when all of the nations, the surrounding nations, are flocking to Jerusalem and as the prophet Zechariah says, they are grabbing the garment of a Jew saying, let us come and worship your God. That has not happened in, in human history. That, that has not happened yet. But yet in the prophet Isaiah, there will come a time when swords will be turned into plowshares, when, when Zion will be the center of this future kingdom, and when the Lord will rule on earth. The prophet Jeremiah talks about the Lord, our righteousness, and how he will be the king over his people. How the prophet Ezekiel in chapter 37 talks about the mountains of Israel and how they will drip sweet wine and how Israel will be regathered to the land and they will dwell in peace and they will dwell in prosperity. And how God will, in fact, regenerate and he will save the f people of Israel in the future when they call upon the Lord Jesus in saving faith. The prophet Amos in chapter 9 talks about how they will rebuild the tent of David in Israel. The prophet Zechariah talks about how the Lord will return all the way to earth and he will have a kingdom. Well, we find more clarity on all of these scriptures in the New Testament. Uh, Jesus is certainly the king, absolutely, but he was rejected as the king by his people. Does Jesus have all authority? Absolutely. Does he reign and rule over every molecule in the universe? Absolutely. He is the majestic king over all creation. But what we find is that in Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 to 21, Jesus returns from heaven all the way to earth very next section, Revelation chapter 20, he begins a 1,000 year kingdom where he reigns on the earth. That is really in a few verses in Revelation 20, giving the duration, 1,000 years, of all of what the Hebrew prophets talked about that has yet to be fulfilled even in our time. And so we have confidence knowing that God is faithful to his promises and that he will, in fact, continue his work with the nation of Israel and that Jesus will come back and he will be the king on the earth, like Psalm 2 says. God has established his king over and on Zion, his holy hill.